In this video, we are going to learn how to get the basic summary statistics using Stata software. So here in the Excel sheet, we have the relevant data. Open the Stata software package and click on this data editor edit button. Go to Excel sheet, select all data, right click, choose copy. Go to data editor and in the first cell, right click and choose paste. Now it is asking us the first row on the clipboard contains values that can be used as a valid variable name. Do you want to treat first row as variable names or data? So in our case we want to treat first row as variable names. Click on variable names. So here is the data. Click this cross button to close this window. Here in the stata we have variables. Type the list command to list all the data. So now in the command window type summarize to get the basic summary statistics summarize and then with the space name of the variables so percent income high select all the variables right click and choose copy var list and here right click and choose paste and press enter so here is the summary statistics we have five variables here total number of observations 51 in each case and then the mean of the variables standard deviations mean value and the max values if you need additional summary statistics other than this mean standard deviation min and max single click on this command in the history panel so this command got copied here in the command window so now put a comma and provide some options so i am using the detail option this tells the stata to provide detailed summary statistics press enter and now we have obtained the detailed summary statistics of all the variables look at the first one percent variable which is percentage of students who appear in the SAT exam. First column gives percentiles. 25th percentile means 25% of the data points lie below 11. And now in the next column, four smallest values and four largest values are provided. And next one is the total number of observations. Sum of weight is, it gives equal weight to each single observation. So sum of weights is equal to total number of observations. So mean is this, standard deviation, variance, skewness and kurtosis. So same summary statistics are provided for each variable income, high, expense, CSAT and college. Alternatively you can use the dialog box as well. So in the command window type db summarize. So here is the dialog box. The name is summarize summary statistics. So variables leave empty for all variables. Click on this drop down menu and choose the required variables. And here in the option standard display, if you click on submit button, so you see this result that we have already obtained. And now if you click on this display additional statistics, click on submit. So now we got the detailed result. By the way, click on this standard display one more time. Click on submit button. Now if you don't want to see this separator, go to summarize dialog box again and set this separator from 5 to 6 and click on submit button. So now you can see that we have six variables here and the separator line will fall below it. But since we have only six variables, so that's why no separator is being displayed here. If you need table of compact summary statistics, there is another way of doing this in Stata. Go to the command window and type DB for dialog box and tab stat. Press enter. So here is a new dialog box. The name is tab stat compact table of summary statistics. In the variables, select the required variables. I am going to select all six variables here. And now statistics to display. Check this box, select mean and next box, select standard deviation. Check the box and select median. Check the box and select interquartile range IQR. Check the box and select minimum. Check the box, select maximum. Check this box and select skewness. Check this box and select kurtosis. Once you are done, click on submit button. So here is the summary statistics. This first variable C set mean standard deviation P50 is the median IQR interquartile range mean max skewness and kurtosis. These statistics are for this first variable C set. Next for percent, expense, income, high and college. We can change the display format by showing the statistics 
as column headings and variables as row headings. Go to the tab state dialog box. In the options tab, use as columns, changes from variables to statistics. Click on submit button. So here you can see that we have in the first column means, in the next column standard deviation, P50 IQR min max QNS in Kultosis. And the first row contains summary statistics for the first variable CSAT. The second row contains summary statistics for the second variable and so on. In our data set, we have this variable region which is categorical. Let's tabulate the region variable. Go to the command window, type tabulate region. Press enter. So here is the basic frequency table. So we can see that the region variable has four categories, Midwest, Northeast, South and West, containing 12, 9, 16, 13 observations respectively. So now suppose we want to get the same summary statistics for each region separately. This can be done by going to the tab stat dialog box once again. Click on this main tab. Check this box group statistics by variable. In the drop down menu, choose region. Click on submit button. So here is the summary statistic for each region. So mean standard deviation P50 IQR min max QNS Kultosis for this Midwest, then for the Northeast and below we have Southwest and Total. Total mean overall summary. By the way, if you need additional summary statistics, go to tab state dialog box again and replace these with let's say 10th percentile or coefficient of variation or range, count or sum. So this is how we can get summary statistics using Stata.